Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you all are doing well. And today we're going to talk about some exciting news that just happened yesterday. That's got me pretty excited, pretty hyped um, amongst all of the other anime news and craziness that's been happening recently with Jump Festa. Just a whole bunch of anime announcements happening as of late. Uh, but this is in regards to a series that came out earlier this year in the spring season of anime of 2021, and that is Odd Taxi. So Odd Taxi, if you guys don't know, is getting a movie. They just announced it yesterday, showed a trailer and everything in regards to it. So it's going to be premiering on April 1st. So on April Fool's Day. Hope that's not a joke, by the way. And they just like pull our leg last second, making us think that we're going to get some more odd taxi like content or something like that. And then they're just like, oh, psych, never mind. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a legit thing. They announced it, Crunchyroll announced it, Anime News Network did. But a movie is in the works and going to be coming out on April 1st. And it's going to be streaming on Crunchyroll like as soon as it premieres too. So I'm not sure if they're going to be showing it in theaters or anything like that in Japanese cinema um, in Japan at the time when it does come out or if it's just going straight to streaming on TV and to streaming services like Crunchyroll. Um, they had, they confirmed that it's going to be coming to Crunchyroll as soon as it streams, but I'm not sure if they're going to be showing it in theaters or something like that in Japan. But um, in regards to this, it's pretty exciting because, you know, Odd Taxi at the time when it did come out during the spring season, not a lot of people were really talking about it. It was a really kind of underrated show that kind of went under the radar during that time can't remember at the time of what the other titles of anime series were going on during it that kind of overshadowed it, but I know for sure it wasn't on my radar because I didn't really end up watching this show until after the fact, until after the spring season of anime ended and the summer season was about to start. Um, a lot of people on my Discord, or at least a few people on my Discord, were telling me to watch it, give it a watch, because they were saying that it was a really, like, a really, really good show, worth watching, worth catching, not a lot of people are talking about it. And then I saw a video um, of a big YouTuber named Giguk that made a video on it, too, telling people to watch it and how good it is and stuff. And, yeah, just kind of the mixed things like that, seeing people on social media talk about it, saying, yeah, more people need to talk about this show, it's really good within the anime community and stuff. So uh, yeah, I decided to finally take a peek at it and see what it had to offer. And it was actually really, really good. I kind of regret um, not watching it, but at the same time, I don't regret it because it made it more of a better experience for myself. And the reason for that is when I finally ended up watching it, like I said, the spring season had just ended and I was like, hey, I got some extra time now between now and when the summer season starts. Let me take a peek at this. And I watched the whole thing through and it was really, really good. It was one of those shows that I really like where the dialogue just kind of flows really smoothly between characters. The interactions are great. The banter between characters, uh, a lot of intense situations and stuff really interesting, mysterious with it and within this kind of animal world that they show. So it was something that initially when I wanted to watch, or at least when I was kind of looking over my list of things I wanted to watch for the spring season of anime, didn't catch my eye that much. It was kind of unappealing looking at the time because it's, you know, like the key visual just shows a bunch of animals and stuff. I thought it was one of those shows that were kind of geared towards more of that kid audience because when I saw it when on that list, it was kind of around that area where it was getting into the kid shows and stuff. Um, but it did catch my eye just a little bit at the time because I saw that it was being produced by the same studio, OLM Studio, that made Komi-san or that's working on Komi Can't Communicate right now. If you guys um, know that show at all, it's a really popular show that's happening right now that's really good, by the way. But um, yeah, I know that it's being worked on by that studio. So when I did see that, I was like, huh, like that's interesting that it's being made by the same studio as Komi-san. And the title of the movie is going to be called Ega Odd Taxi in the Woods. So I saw some speculation and stuff with comments and things on social media, people thinking that it's going to be a retelling of the anime in just a movie format, which I think would be a little bit weird and not really make much sense too much. I don't know if they're just trying to get a cash grab or something, if it's going to be playing in cinemas in Japan. Um, but I hope that's not the case. And based on the different title of the movie from what the actual, you know, anime series is called, I'm thinking it's going to be something different and not a retelling. I'm just hoping it's not a retelling because why that just wouldn't make too much sense, you know, when it's going straight to Crunchyroll and Crunchyroll already has the anime, the 12 or 13 episodes that are already on there, that's more fleshed out, more detailed and stuff, why would they make a movie that's more condensed and more, you know, short and cutting out um, important scenes possibly and things like that. It just wouldn't make too much sense when they already have the more fleshed out and detailed version on Crunchyroll already, unless they're trying to do something like, you know, get more money and stuff with if they play it in theaters or something like that. But I don't think that's the case. It would make more sense, you know, if they started off with the movie first and then after the fact they made an anime to you know, show more details and flesh it out a little bit more, you know, show more extended scenes and stuff like that. But um, if they're doing it the other way around, doesn't really make too much sense, at least in my opinion, I'm not sure um, on that. That's just kind of how I feel on it. 
But um, yeah, that's kind of that's what the movie's called, and hopefully, like, there's some speculation, or at least somebody said that it was going to be restructuring some of the events within um, the anime series that came out already, and it's going to take place after the final events of the series. Um, but that hasn't been confirmed just yet. That was just what somebody kind of said. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually been confirmed or not, but hopefully that's the case because the anime ended in a kind of a weird spot. It ended in a place where you think that. It kind of gives you the feel that a lot of things have been tied up and that there's not much left of the story. But at the very, very end, there's a cliffhanger that happened that made me like want more. And I was kind of tripping out a little bit that it ended that way. So maybe they can kind of pick off, uh, pick up out, off of that and kind of start off with that and stuff and have that as the focal point of uh, what's going on in that one in the new movie and stuff. But uh, we'll see what happens with it. But that's pretty much all I had today in regards to talking about Odd Taxi and its movie. Exciting times to be an anime fan with all of the news that's been coming out recently and with Odd Taxi, a show that I was not expecting at all to get a movie uh, coming out with something like this and coming out pretty soon at that, you know, April 1st. Hopefully it's not a joke that you guys better not be joking with us, Japan. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, exciting times, like I said. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this news and hopefully you guys have seen the show. Or if you guys haven't, check it out. Highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. See you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>